Hi, I'm Sandra Giffen, and this is my review of the Microsoft Wedge Mobile Keyboard using an Android tablet. I was looking for a keyboard that was compact enough to stuff in my small sling pack and take to a coffee shop. I'm a touch typer, so I'm pretty demanding when it comes to keyboards. The Wedge Mobile has a number of great features and a few issues which I'll review for you now. I'm also going to give you some tips on how to fix the problems I encountered. First, the good news. The size is perfect. Big enough for touch typing and small enough to be portable at 10 inches by 4 inches. The keyboard is light but stable when you type energetically. It only uses two AAA batteries, which go right here, instead of four, like some of the others in the category, so it makes it lighter. Since it's battery operated, it doesn't consume a USB port. It also comes with a cover, and this cover has several functions that weren't immediately apparent. It keeps the keyboard clean. It stops it from turning on when it's in your bag, saving battery and it actually turns the unit off when you attach the cover. The cover also doubles as a stand for your tablet. So you can simply bend it into the shape you want and then put your tablet on it and you can see that it holds your tablet really stably. Now the bad news. The cover is heavy and the cover plus keyboard weigh one pound. I considered dumping the cover, but it's actually really useful, so I kept it. The keyboard can only pair with one device at a time, so when I want to switch to a different tablet, I have to pair the keyboard with the other tablet, and it loses the pairing settings for the original. Some keyboards on the market support an A-B switch, which allow more devices. As you can see, there's also no spaces between the keys, so if you have really big hands, you might find it a bit cramped. Now I ran into two other issues. The first big issue was a tendency for keystrokes to repeat. So for example, if you hit the letter R, instead of getting one R, you would get several R's. And the second big problem was a keyboard mapping issue. When it's paired with an Android device, the delete key is not recognized. The good news is I was able to solve both of these problems with a product called External Keyboard Helper Pro, which is available at the Google Play Store for $2.53. I've prepared detailed instructions on how to configure this solution at my blog at MediaVidi.com. On balance, I would say that the Microsoft Wedge Mobile Keyboard is a very good solution for anyone who wants productivity on the go.